right, folks, welcome back to Rido's Astro Forum. We are here at the end of August in 2023. And that basically means one thing, namely that Saturn is at its closest distance from Earth in our orbit around the Sun. So the end of August and also the beginning of September would be a perfect time to image Saturn with a telescope. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. Uh, but we have a tiny problem because you might remember these excellent pictures taken by the Voyager spacecraft in the 1990s uh, from Saturn, where we see the Earth as a tiny pixel, as a pale blue dot in the sky. Or maybe you can remember the Cassini spacecraft taking a similar picture in 2006. And of course, we are here on Earth and we have the same, the same problems. Uh, and when we look at Saturn in the night sky, we see this tiny yellowish pixel and we need to magnify that pixel to actually see some of the features of Saturn, for instance, the beautiful rings, and also uh, to look at maybe the dynamic moon system of Saturn uh, with a telescope. So let me show you the kind of setup that I'm using to image Saturn in the night sky. So I folks just remember that even at our position, Saturn is still 1.3 billion kilometers away. So you actually need a big uh, telescope with a long focal length to really get a detailed picture of a planet like Saturn. Um, but this is the biggest telescope that I have. It's an 8-inch Celestron Edge HD. So the aperture is 8 inches or 200 millimeters. And remember, the bigger the aperture of your telescope is, the higher the resolution you're able to get of a planet like Saturn or Jupiter. Um, the native focal length is 2032 millimeters. And a longer focal length really helps you to magnify the object in the night sky. Um, I'm also using this camera, it's the ASI 678MC. This is a planetary camera with a very tiny pixel size of two microns. And those two microns actually help me to get uh, a planet like Saturn at 0.2 arc seconds per pixel. And that's for me, that's enough because the seeing in the Netherlands is never very good. It's, uh, most of the time it's above one arc second, but you might get this break in the clouds. You might get uh, this one or two minutes where we're going to take a video of Saturn where the quality of the seeing is actually pretty good. And that helps you to get a high quality image of a planet. Um, I'm also using this finder scope. I aligned the finder scope with my telescope to get exactly the same field of view. So when I'm looking for a planet in the night sky, I can look at the finder scope and center the planet in the field of view. And that really helps also to get uh, a planet into the field of view of this tiny camera at 2000 millimeters uh, focal length.
So hi guys, to be honest, that was not the best picture I ever took of a planet, but um, I will keep on trying in the upcoming weeks. And I wanted to say to you that I just created the option to join the channel, to join Rido's Astro Forum for $2.99 every month and buy me two cups of coffee. And I will be putting out some dedicated content for uh, people who actually join the channel. So the first thing I want to do is to do a couple of dedicated videos, uh, actually a dedicated planetary course, where I really get into why it is so much fun to image the planets, what kind of equipment uh, is good to image the planets, what kind of telescopes, cameras, mounts are excellent to image the planets, but also the whole process of finding the planets in the night sky, the best times to image the planets, the best places to image the planets, uh, what kind of software you can use to capture them and process them. I already have a lot of videos on my channel, but I just want to make a very dedicated, a very informational video uh, as a thanks for those of you who want to subscribe and not only subscribe but also join the channel for $2.99 and financially support me. I will also be putting uh, my data there so that will be like videos in this case of the planets you can actually use yourself to practice your processing skills. So anyway, I hope this video was entertaining and useful for you. Let me know in the comment section below and see you next time. Clear skies.